Doing field repairs can sometimes be a pain in the butt, but it doesn't have to be. Having the right tools can make it easy and fun. In this week's episode of Gadget Mondays, we're going to be talking about the TS100 digital soldering iron. The TS100 is a tiny digital soldering iron that can be powered from any power supply that has a 2.5 millimeter barrel plug. You can use a AC power supply that has an output of 12 to 24 volts, or you can use this adapter cable that lets you use any LiPo with an XT60 connector 4 to 6 S. The TS100 itself only weighs 20 grams and it has these easy to replace tips. I've got mine in this little carrying case where I keep my soldering iron, uh, two tips, my power cable, and it hardly takes up any space in the bag. I've got two tips in mine. It comes with a TSD24 which is like a flat head kind of looking plug. But then I bought this other one. I think this is a TSC1, which is like a pointy tip, but you really don't need it. For field repairs, this flat tip that it comes with works fine. You can use the sharp corners for like small jobs like wires and stuff or the flathead for battery cables. What I love about the TS100 is how fast it heats up. I'll do a demo. So all you do is just plug in your head. Um, you're supposed to tighten this. I think it's a two, milli two millimeter Allen, but I never do it and it works just fine. So let's plug it in and then you just use any old um, LiPo battery with an XT60. Plug it in. It's got this little LCD screen and then when you push this, it starts. And you can see how fast it will heat up. How fast it heats up depends on your power source. So if you have a more powerful battery, it heats up a lot faster. But even this one with the, I, I don't know how charged this battery is, but you can see how fast it heats up. And you can select the temperature by pushing the left and right arrows. Left will, will bring the temperature down, and then the right will bring the temperature up. And it's got an operating temperature of 100 to 400 Celsius which is plenty of power to do any kind of job on in the field. And you can see how fast it's heating up. And then to turn it off, you just push both buttons and then you push the right button. And then you can see the voltage of my battery and then what the tip temperature currently is. The TS100 uses an open source firmware, meaning it can be easily updated or programmed when hooked up to the computer. All you do is you plug in the micro USB here and then plug it into your computer. And then when you pull it up, you'll see a drive on your computer. All you do is open up that drive and in there you'll find a text file. And on the text file, it's got all these settings on there and all you have to do to program it is change the settings you want on there. Just to note, when I tried it, I couldn't save the text file when I was using a Mac, but when I used a Windows machine, it saved just fine. The TS100 goes for about $65. Before this soldering iron, I had a cheap $10 soldering iron that you just plug into an XT60 cable, but because I'm so rich, I can afford this. Just kidding. I bought this on wholesale, but after using it for a year, if I were to lose this, I would definitely pay $65 to replace it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.